In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God whom we serve can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even now, if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men be bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glorious glory and praise forever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, 
We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If you, God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, the truth will set you free. And later in John's gospel, he declared, I am the truth. He is a source of genuine freedom for his followers. Jesus stated, if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. By staying close to him, we can experience what St. Paul calls the glorious freedom of the children of God. Our relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit that he pours into our hearts enables us to live according to God's will in ways that align with our best selves. True freedom means having the freedom to love and give of ourselves to others just as Jesus gave of himself to us. That is the freedom we pray for in these final weeks of Lent. Recognizing our need for the mercy and grace of God, we now turn to him with these prayers of petition, that we may have eyes of faith in order to behold the glory of God in all his works, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that through the example of our lives, others may come to know God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the Hughes family, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us in the faith of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing homes or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we offer you this day and to answer them according to your holy will. We make them as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name 
and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.